a Ugandan parliamentarian from the governing National Resistance Movement, NRM, says the government has made significant progress in the protection of human rights and freedoms despite criticism from the opposition. Felix Odupa Ongwech says that tourism is suffering due to negative reports that opposition leaders sent overseas. His remarks follow a recent report by the U.S. State Department on Human Rights Practices in Uganda. It highlighted challenges or weaknesses the country faces, including lack of judicial independence. But parliamentary Felix Odupa tells viewers Peter Clotty that uh, nothing prevents opposition leaders from uh, putting forward a motion in the legislature to ensure the protection of human rights in Uganda. This is not news to us as the members of the ruling party. It has always been the opposition cry after every cycle of the election. For instance, we are now one year close to the next general election. That's when you start hearing the stories of abuse of human rights because they want to attract international uh, body sympathy. They want international body to Uganda as the most violator of human rights, abuse the human rights and dignity. Uh, and that is what they are always trading uh, the country for, so that they can be getting those assistance from the international community. So it has been politics. Are you saying that there has been improved the respect of human rights on the ground? Because some civil society groups are saying that they have seen some improvement, others are saying not so much, and that the abuse of citizens keeps going on without the NRM saying a word, particularly the NRM in parliament, including you. Uganda, it's uh, a signatory to, your, to the international human rights body. We are part of that body and uh, we protect the human rights and dignity. However, there are always challenges and Uganda is not exceptional those challenges. The latest State Department human rights report the opposition is saying it's a, it's a clear indication that what you just said, that there has been an improvement, is not so, and that the judiciary lacks independence, and that even when issues are brought to the NRM in parliament, the NRM folks like you keep quiet. The opposition has been going to court of law. They have won several cases in court of law. They have lost several cases. NRM has been to court. They have won. They have lost. Eh? But when they have lost the case in court, that's when they say that, no, the court is not uh, you know, working independently. The court is biased against the opposition. Why is it whenever they have a pressing matter, they run to the court that they said it is biased against them? If the judiciary is not independent, people like Dr. Kizabesige, people like Bobby Wine and so on, would have not been released from prison, would have not got caught bail. Felix Adupa Ongwech is a Ugandan member of parliament from the Governing National Resistance Movement. He was speaking with you, Peter Clark. Russian mercenaries are chasing one of the world's most notorious fictives, the war hero Joseph Ukoni, who abducted tens of thousands of children from across Central Africa, brutalizing and brainwashing them as child soldiers and sex slaves in a decades-long maelstrom of terror. American magazine Rolling Stone reported on Sunday about a bloody near capture of Kony by Russian mercenaries working for the Wagner Group in a remote corner of the Central African Republic in early April. A social media post affiliated with Wagner also confirms some aspects of the group's interest in the warlord. This amounts to hot pursuit in the african bush says a u.s source familiar with efforts to capture the world law the u.s military got within 72 hours of Kony wagner may be even closer the development comes after the International Criminal Court, ICC, closed its investigation into alleged crimes against humanity and war crimes committed by the rebel world's resistance army in northern Uganda. He is suspected of 12 counts of crimes against humanity, murder, enslavement, sexual enslavement, rape, 
in human acts of inflicting serious bodily injury and suffering and 21 counts of war crimes murder cruel treatment of civilians intentionally directing an attack against a civilian population pillaging inducing rape and forced enrichment of children allegedly committed in 2003 and 2004 in northern uganda to understand the wagner operation in pursuit of Kony, rolling stone connected with a rebel group whose members witnessed portions of the april 7th attack and its aftermath near a village in eastern central african republic called yemen as the rebel group UPC or Union for Peace in Central Africa was on the move in the hinterlands, a rebel commander named Osman Elaidi, the account from fighters on the ground, a series of voice messages. The operation began when 14 defectors from Kony's Lodi's Resistance Army or the LRA surrendered to a group of men posing as Central African Republic government forces at the end of March. The men were in fact a Chadian armed group affiliated with Wagner which often partners with local militias to support its operations. The defection occurred in Central African Republic's Hotekoto Prefecture, a wooden savanna of more than 33,800 square miles larger than South Carolina, with few roads and numerous isolated villages.